This your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. And I'm back with another video. <laughs> and in this video, as you can see and as you read that, I have the best TV that you can buy right now for your PS5 and Xbox Series X or the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Digital. I don't know. But anyway, this is the one of the only TVs, there's a couple more, that support 120 hertz at four, uh, 4K HDR. Um, they got HDMI 2.1 out the box. It's a lot of TVs that have HDMI 2.1, but they need an update or firmware or something like that. This is one that have it out the box. This is LG's NanoCell AI ThinQ, or the AL, no, AI. AI ThinQ, 49 inch WebOS. And a funny fun fact is WebOS used to be uh, Palm OS. Didn't even know that. Sure, y'all yeah, probably did. I didn't know that. That they bought them out. Hmm, okay. I guess that's why it looks similar to Palm OS used to. But yeah, it got the Magic Remote. This remote is amazing, they say. I've been doing a lot of research on it. But yeah, this is the new Nano Cell. 49 inch NAN085. LG TV. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Right after that intro, y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, I'm back. Let's get straight into it. Got my unboxing knife, the one I use on every video. This just came from Best Buy. It's been, it's, they keep selling this thing out like hotcakes. And I see why. Because it's one of the, as I said in the beginning, the intro part, it's one of the best TVs you could buy. Hope I don't cut my finger this time. <laughs> it's one of the best TVs you could buy right now today for your PlayStation 5 or Xbox. <laughs> power cord so it just don't even come with hdmi or nothing these tvs is getting cheap oh yeah i'm gonna show you another thing be right back in a second i'm gonna show you another cord that you need be right back. all right i'm back with the cord this is one of the best cords that you can buy it's a little pricey but trust me if you have ps5 xbox series x this is what you want this particular brand this particular model this is the audio quest force 48 hdmi this is this is a short length, but you can get any length you want. They are more expensive, but this is how it looks. It's green with the gold tips and it's directional. And let me just tell you what to do real quick before we get into this unboxing. So it's a million cords that Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, they sell. They say, some of them say HDR support. Some of them say uh, 4K, of course, 120 support, uh, 48 gigabytes per second support. It says all of this stuff on it. Some of the other ones, like... Um, I think it's called um, Rocket Fish from Best Buy. I don't know the other brands from other companies, but they all say they support the, the right specs and everything that you need for your PS5 to run it at 120 hertz and get true HDR and HDR 10 if you got it on the TV, but they don't. I went through three or four cords. Some of them was 30, 40 bucks. None of them do what this one do. This particular one, let me get closer for you. None of them do what this one do. Trust me, it's 70 bucks. You might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else, but 70 bucks for one cord. And this look at 2.5 feet. And this is worth it. I was trying to find a way to take it back. Because 70 bucks for a core, an HDMI core for me, is that's too much. I'm sure for a lot of you, you're going to be thinking like, I ain't buying that. Trust me. This is the core. The one that come with the PlayStation is not the right HDMI core that you need to bring the best settings out. Your new TV. Or even, like I got a 58 inch Samsung 7 series. Uh, 65 inch uh, curved uh, 7 series. Think, or a series uh, smart TV behind me now and when I put this cord on here it gives me updates to say new HDR supported new HDR 10 it's not the third 
and uh, uh, Netflix updated, Amazon updated, YouTube actually updated and came up and said uh, HDR content support, something like that at 4K. This court did it, and those other courts that say those these same specs didn't what didn't do anything. Like with my TV in the room, that's the uh, 58 and set, uh, 7 series. It said no HDR supported, and I paid 40 bucks for that cord. Then I put this one on there. HDR supported, came up game mode, changed all my settings on the TV, and the picture, oh my God, was beautiful. And that TV is just a regular 7 series. They got the 8 series, probably the 9 series on now. But when you put this on your TV, even if you don't have this TV right here, this is an LG Nano Cell. Stop, y'all. Even if you don't have this, this cord still makes your picture, even if you got like Apple TV or Roku. Stop, y'all. <laughs> my baby kid. Even if you don't have a uh, souped up, souped up TV, but you got a nice 4K, this cord is a must buy. Don't be cheap like I was going to be and I wasn't gonna get the cord. I thank God I bought it. All right, remember that. It changes the entire game experience. No other cord won't that I've had experience would do it. All right, let's get back to the TV. Okay, so it come with the power cord. Here's the magic remote with the batteries. I'm gonna do like a little quick unboxing for this real quick and then I'm gonna, um, do another clip towards the end. So make sure y'all stay to the end to see some little quick gameplay of how it looks, the picture, stuff like that. So, yeah. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. On the road to a thousand, I am doing a giveaway. I'm at 600 and something, 30, 40, I don't know. I gotta go back and check out remember. Oh, look at that remote, it looks nice. Look at that remote. It's the magic remote. Got the wand, like the mouse little thing that follows it. If you ain't seen it, I'll show you in this video. In the other clip but yeah don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content you know like that uh don't forget to turn your post notifications on hit that bell it means a lot to me you know if you could stop right now and just go down there right below i think it's on this side and just give me a thumbs up i definitely truly appreciate it I truly appreciate each, each and every one of you just for stopping by you know even if you only watch a minute of my videos thank you for stopping by even if you don't subscribe thank you for stopping by appreciate you i couldn't be doing what i do now if no one watched me. So thank you guys. All right, all that being said, let's get to the TV. This is, looks like, well, I see it almost like a bezel-less TV for the most part. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. Let's put the legs on there real quick. Ooh, look at that. Don't you love when you first get a new product, that, that new look, that new smell? <laughs> Move this sucker around like this and throw them legs on that. Throw them legs on that. <laughs> that was a song. Throw some D's on that. <laughs> All right. What is on my TV? It's like a cracker or something. <laughs> All right. This should be pretty, fairly easy to put this on here. Uh, here we go. Let's see what I need. Where's the screwdriver? Oh, yeah. I got that. Right here. Let's see, is it a certain A? That's B and this A, okay. Oh, I can't see me doing it. Oh, I lift it up so I can see it. Some people like, oh, this is so they can sensor. That sensor thing will come on. Um, let's see how you do this. Taking it like this or like, wait, this is A or B? Play A. Oh, okay. That's different. Oh. Hopefully I don't hear that TV in there and I get copyrighted. My kids are watching you know, from cartoons as always. And that's all they do. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy didn't sneeze. <laughs> it's talking about that was BJ that sneezed. My daughter told me, bless you. I didn't even sneeze. That's your baby brother that sneezed. That's funny. All right, here we go. Can y'all see that? It's just screwing the legs on. Ain't nothing spectacular to see. Yeah, y'all know how this TV here. Ain't that spectacular? I could hook it up out here just so I could see it real quick. But I wanted to show y'all with some gameplay. So I think I'll wait to the next clip and show y'all some gameplay. Hook the PS5 to it. Yeah, this thing got 
four HDMIs. Two of them is at 120 hertz. You got two USB ports. Let me make sure this leg's on there. Good. You don't want the TV falling off and breaking. Uh, let's see. You got the optical cord. You got the, the cable cord, of course. Then you got two. Okay. So I'll bring it closer so y'all can see. One second. Let me just make sure this leg's on there. Good. All right. Let's put this one on there, then I'll bring it closer for y'all can see it. So what is this for? This back. Please use this operator for service engine. Okay, so that's what this cord for. For servicing the um, TV. I figured that's what it was, too. So when you first put this leg on, it's a little click thing. You got to make sure you click your TV. Click the leg or you ain't got it in right. I got to invest in a power drill. All real men need a power drill. Well, I won't say all real men. All, if you do this type of stuff that I do, man, woman, don't matter. You need a power drill. Okay. like this little magnet thing. That's cool. All right. Almost done, yeah. You gotta make sure this is good. You do not want your leg snapping off the TV dropping. You double check it. All right. Can y'all see that? Let me see. Can y'all see that? nice size tv it's a perfect gaming tv okay so in the next clip i'm gonna show y'all some some gaming on it and my little setup how i'm setting it up because i actually got two tvs in my room now i got rid of my monitor hey y'all be quiet i got rid of my 32 inch dell 4k monitor because of this that doesn't support 120 only 60 and that didn't have hdmi 2.1 i need to future proof myself and that's what you should be doing too especially this on sale i'm not telling you should you need to do it but you should do it if you got the money um but yeah so i bought this so i'm about to have two tvs in my room a 58 inch and then this i'm gonna be watching most of my movies on this i ain't gonna lie <laughs> me and my wife just gonna be she gonna watch the tv and i'm gonna watch the tv <laughs> forget it so yeah this is going into the room all right be back in a minute Show y'all some gameplay, show y'all some uh, high setup. And uh, yeah, all right, to the next clip. For me, it's gonna be about 20 minutes. For y'all, it's gonna be instantly. See y'all in a second. All right, y'all, I'm back. Turning on the TV for the first time. And then switch my colors. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Let's see, so let's move it back for y'all just a little bit. Hold on, y'all, one second. Thought I had the angle right, but I guess I didn't. I'm gonna get you the whole full picture. The full experience. Let me move this out the way. Can y'all see everything? Let me just load up. I should be able to see everything. Let me make this just a little taller. There we go. Now y'all can see everything. This my new little setup. I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh, I'll put it right there. Hello. Press the OK button. Wheel on your remote. That's pretty loud. OK button. That's the... Press OK. Wheel Can button on your LG Magic 5. All right. It's talking to me, English. telling me what to do. On chat. Chat. English button. Use this TV as a store mode. On chat. No. Next. Button deactivated. Country United States. Button ADAC on chat. Chicago Indiana Detroit on chat. Next button. This talk of day is irritating. Audio <laughs> guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Do you want to keep audio guidance turned on? No. All right, check it. HDMI. Let's cut the PlayStation one. Oh, look at that. Y'all see that? I like that little pointer, see? Pointer with the mouse. That is neat. I gotta get used to it because it's like off right now, so. 
Okay, it's demo connected, nothing else to be connected at all. Ethernet, I should have got my cord out. That right there. I'm not getting my cord, I'll do that later though. I just use Wi-Fi for now. All right, I'm back, y'all. Had to set the Wi-Fi stuff up. Uh, agree to the terms. No, 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 no. Device advertising agreement, definitely not. Live plus automatic content recognized for user. Let's see what else is it. Uh, who, what, where, user. Mm. Marley. That's cool. All right, let's see. I'm trying to get y'all some gameplay real quick. See how it's working on the PS5. The funny thing is I got another TV right next to it. I love it. All right. All right. Next. Um, I did not. Uh, nope. She's very pretty. Okay. These are the channels She's that come with. What? Let's see. I think this is it right here. No. LG channels. Oh, okay. I guess that's not it. Okay. Anyway, I just want to. How do I go over to this game mode thing? Uh, I want to show y'all some gameplay. See. When you got your HDR on one, it comes up and says this. So you got to do the display stuff and make sure what just happened. Oh, okay. All right. I don't like to make it darker like that. I like it like this. That's cool. So I'm going to show you all some settings real quick. Let's see. Uh. Right now it's on 60 hertz. Let's see. See how I say supported A's. You can see it right there. I do got a game that's in 120 hertz. I just ain't downloaded it yet, which is my call to duty. That game plays in 120 hertz. Spider-Man don't, but I still want to see how it looks. So for copyright purposes, I'm not going to have volume more the Spider-Man game. I don't want to play no... um. Copyrighted music. I don't know if the last video I did got copyrighted, but it's it's already weird when I have no sound. What is that noise? Oh, the remote control now has volume on it. <laughs> I can't escape. All right, just want to see how it looks. So far. The quality is amazing. I don't think it's on 120 hertz, though. I'm pretty sure it's not because of, um. let's go to home real quick. Because Spider-Man don't support 120 hertz yet, or if it ever will. Let's see. HDR, no, it's on 60 hertz. Um, how do I change it? Hold on, I gotta think about it. It's maybe a settings in the TV or something. Let's go to it and see. I'm not 100% sure. It's a game mode, but I don't know what that really means. I'm going to do some more investigation. Investigating, I should say, on uh, these different modes. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all just how it looked. And so far, it looks amazing. Oh, go ahead. Right, man, look amazing. Look beautiful. All the details level of his face. Let's see if I can. All right. I always use Spider Man. I'm going to put on Call of Duty to see how that 120 hertz is kicking in. But the frame rate on here is wonderful. Yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick um, first impressions unboxing on the on the uh, on the TV, the new LG Nano Cell TV, eighty five Nano Cell eighty five, I believe it is. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. If you got any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. But this is future proofing yourself with HDMI two point one. We have one hundred twenty hertz at four K. Um, yeah, I don't think as of right now you can't get a better TV. You know, as of recording this video, you know that does everything out the box. At this price, I paid uh, $550 for it. 
So at this price is pretty much what I'm saying. There is some 15, 2000 on TVs that can do, you know, 4K at 120. I'm not buying no $2,000 TV, you know, not now anyway. Uh, once my channel grow. That's why I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Turn your post notifications on. Hit that bell because I need all your support I get so I can keep bringing you videos like this. So I can keep buying tech so you don't have to. I can keep buying it and reviewing it so you don't have to spend your hard-earned money and take a chance on something you may not like. I do it for you. And all in return, and in return, all I ask is just to hit the subscribe button for me. Thank you again. This is your boy, Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. Checking out with another video. Um, I'm going to do a full review once I figure out all the settings and the right, this and that and the third. Just to, to maximize the quality and everything I need for the PS5. Thank you guys again. Love you guys as always. Until the next one. Peace.